Hey, I want to thank you guys for stopping back in at Mikey Bikes Hot Rod Garage. Today I'm going to show you a Luxembourg Wizard from 1948. The Luxembourg was the cool, cool German-made Wizard. Wizard had an extensive manufacturing plant in Luxembourg, Germany, and they made the Wizard. The Coach Works made all different kinds of frames back in the day, and they particularly made this style bike. It was really, really cool. They did some things that Wizard, I wish that Wizer and Schwinn and Wizer and Roadmaster would have done. The coolest thing that I like about this bike is the eccentric sprocket. So what's that mean? Well, you adjust the pulley separately, then you'd adjust the sprocket, which was nice because chains dragged, guys used wrong size belts, and it was a mess. This bike, two little Allens on the bottom, loosen them, move the eccentric, tightened up the chain. It worked flawlessly. Why didn't Schwinn use that? Why didn't we copy that? Well. A little late now, isn't it? Oh well. Anyway, hey, this bike had covers that went over the complete bicycle. Unfortunately, I'm missing them right now. It also had the little license plate bracket on the front that I'm missing and the correct headlight. So what I did was I used the bylight on the front of it because I rode this to a uh, wizard show and it was neat. Guys loved it. They never seen one. How about the tires? 24 by two and a quarter. This has Michelin's on it. I've been looking for tires and a Speedo, a correct Speedo for this, but I've not had any luck finding it. It has a little ducktail style front fender. The metal's much heavier than a standard Wizard. Wooden handle grips, stock, yes they are. It's got the little tank bracket that goes around so if you crash, fall down, you didn't damage your tank. It also has a built-in pump on it. The other bikes didn't have it. Leather saddle, looks like it's been pretty worn out, doesn't it? Now, the rear rack, is welded onto the actual frame. Pretty neat. So it wasn't shaking, there wasn't nuts and bolts falling off it like there is on my bike when I'm rolling down the road. The sheave had different style spacers on it. It mounted a little bit differently. Chain adjusters on the rear. The kickstand had its own welded spots for it to kick up. A much heavier spring in the back also. The bike is really, really neat. The bars, one piece bar with the gooseneck of course built in, their own girder fork with Zerk fittings in it front brake. Man, I could go on about this bike all day long. It is so cool. Anyway, I wanted to show it to you. I want to thank you guys for stopping back. Um, I'm Mikey Bike. Yep, it's that time. I'm out.